a democratic coup. As mostly feared from our military history, when the coup is mentioned, it's usually related with treason and overthrow of government, scary things happening to our economics. Well, fortunately, in democracy, it provides, as allowed within the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to unseat some elected officers without waiting till when their terms are over. These are perfectly constitutional, legal, and endorsed to be tried in your constituency as provided by the Constitution. The basis of a democracy, as the concept began, was on representative governance and has its foundation in the legislature, which of course comprises of the State House of Assembly, which is in your state, the Federal House of Representatives, the Green Chambers, the Senate, the Red Chambers, and they are charged with responsibility of oversight on the executive as the, one of their first functions. The second function will be amendment and law creation. At this juncture, I would like to you to note that constituency projects are not within their job description and can be considered as nothing else but an anomaly without constitutional backing. The legislature are also tasked with the power to impeach an executive, that is, a governor or a president. But what goes on when you feel underrepresented? And what is key to your rep re representation is lost in political translation. Members of the legislature, legislature can be recalled, and here's how to go about it. Step one, identify the constituency which you are unhappy with and representative you are unhappy with within the legislative government and find out how many total votes were cast in the election that brought the representative to power. Two, get 50% plus one signature at least and PVC numbers. And please note, INEC only accepts this in manual form. Three, send the petition to INEC, which will be verified, and a refer referendum as regards the ref representative's position will be placed in that constituency in the next 90 days. Four, if the representative loses the referendum, the seat will now be lost, and INEC will declare the seat vacant and conduct a fresh election in 90 days. It looks like this can't be done, which is most of the time what we say when the middle class don't want to make a move to repair the country. I will tell you the truth. Do you want to know the opportunity cost of that? I'll tell you the opportunity cost. The present electoral act we spent so many talks over and, and it has hurt us to see that it seems our own independent electoral commission is now going to be a puppet in the hands of many different other uh, positions within governance. There is poor oversight of the executive and we watch as state governors push up high budgets, the presidency ignores a heightened insecurity and worst of all, laws that repeal basic freedoms like speech and movement of people in the, in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. You can do more than a hashtag against a representative you dislike. You can stand your ground or fall and watch the country bow to anything. Wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, yeah, clap. Nobody, nobody claps. <laughs> Thank you for the democratic call. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that's, that's very, um, very apt. Mm. And um, quite honestly, I think there's so much we don't know in this country. I even sitting here, I'm wondering, is it this simple? But it's not, it's made to, so when you say constitu, constitu, um, uh, constituency project, it's not part of, because that's the major thing these guys go there mm -hmm. to sell. No. No, I, it, I'm telling you, when we find people there, we are waiting for the constituency project to be executed. So it's a case of, okay, whose constituency pro, uh, uh, project is better done or bigger? So if it is outside of their purview, who... Who should be 
charged with the constituency projects, please. I, I think, okay. okay. I think okay. before you come in as the, uh, the, 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 what's it called? The oracle in this part. <laughs> <laughs> now, my view, I think we are, Nigeria as a country is in a fix. In the sense that there is what the constitution says. Hmm. And there are laws that have been passed by the National Assembly, which does not amount to an amendment of the Constitution. You know, over the years, some things have been added in the Constitution. But there are some things that take place in the, in the National Assembly that are not necessarily part of a new constitution or an amendment to the constitution that are just probably, I don't know if to call them bylaws or stuff that just happened within them. I think that's where this falls. And then the question is, will it be illegal for them to take it on or will it not be? And that I think is always a challenge in Nigeria. We, you see, we are always too scared to approach the courts. Mm. There are some things, I like what PDP is doing now, taking uh, materially to court. I love it. I, we need, we need a, a solution to that. Yes, we know that we're, there's a law that says if a party is going through, uh, it's fractionalized, you can bow out and all that. But let, let's, let's try the courts. We don't. We need to try the courts. We need to go to court over cases like, okay, like the, the where, where was I the other day that I heard about uh, health, um, birth and death? now being a federal issue, yeah, where I mean. some of this, you need to just go to court, okay, the constitution says uh, primary health is responsibility of local government and the state, I believe, and now we're having primary health in the federal and all that. Let's try this. Do they have a right to do that? You're not fighting, and such things, you realize that government will not go against you because you're not fighting anything that touches them, I mean, to the core. You're only looking at the processes and the systems, and these things are the things we don't do that allow everybody to do whatever we want in court. But going to the court is not a, is not a cheap. You know, when you say PDP dragged the government to court, it's an institution, it's a body. My brother, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's too scary going to the courts, and yeah. I want us to uh, uh, look at it from the generic point. That's the thing. Scary see, that that word you said is the problem, scary. Scary. It is not as scary. See, okay, for example, in Nigeria, if you have cases, there are people that do pro bono okay. in Nigeria. I mean, lawyers. 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 Okay. There, are, there is even the national. Um, there's a oh, what's this called? Um, act, um, legal aid. I don't. I don't know if it's yes, called legal, legal aid, right? Legal yeah. Aid. Is legal it a aid. government? Is it government? Uh, no, why would I go to government to? No, I'm, no I'm talking about normal independent bodies. Exactly. No, I'm talking can... about normal uh, issues. Now, if you're able to rally around, like uh, um, what's it called? Um, all these things we sign online. That we say we're signing petitions, petitions mm -hmm. and stuff. You can rally up people like Sarah okay. and other institutions. Say, Let's push this and try. Thank you. And for you this. will get the support. You, you said something about you know Kunle in Kunle's speech. Mm. Kunle said something about when you are when you want to recall a rep, mm -hmm. and he said so you get um, a, a petition Pet signed yeah, like yeah, fifty percent uh, of uh, that. But he said INEC will not want that electronic. They want it physical. Of that course. Is, fraud. That is where the scam comes in. Not why necessarily. Is, so, so why is why is INEC? Because the moment INEC says it has to be physical, then it cuts off a demographic. Let me explain something. If that is going to stop you, do you know what the backlash of not doing that is? Is what you have now in the National Assembly. You asked me a question, constituency projects. For once, anyway, it's been a long time so I can talk about it. Constituency project came into Nigeria when Obasanjo was looking for third term. It's a direct infringement on the operations of the local government and its functions directly. Mm. There is no legislature in the world that does projects. US, UK, Zimbabwe, Congo, Ghana, Egypt. They don't do projects. Your work in the National Assembly is oversight. First, oversight on the executive. Second, amendment of laws. I'm making laws, yeah. Between two, 1999 and 2021, the U.S. Senate and its legislative arm have amended about approximately four, over 4,200 laws. Do you know where your country is on that? I don't need to tell you. 
you, an electoral act of 1999, okay, after a little touch up and brush up in 2014 to amend for card readers, mm. uh, we're just facing it. Are they really doing what they're supposed to do? Let me tell you that Nigerian lawmakers earn over $400,000 per annum. That is higher. That is more than 20 times higher than those in the U.S. I don't want to 20 tell you. 20 times? Yes. Hmm. The U.S. Senator earns about approximately $40,000 a year. We, we earn about $400,000. And still infringing with that word constituency projects. The first handshake of democracy to the people is the, the local, local government. government. Yeah. Of course. If you take the functions of that, how can you deliver democracy to, to the people? That is direct infringement of an arm. Remember, state governments are of the wet dream that they are on top of the local government. No, local government is a separate tier of government, like you are state, federal, yeah. local. They are not under the state government. But state governments have even grown wings enough to begin to, to fire elected, mm. duly elected Chairman. chairmen. Mm. Mm. Or your case in example. So uh, that's uh, dismissal of the of the chairman state, of the local government. Is it constitutional? State, state governments do not have the power. So how did that happen and nobody challenged it? So that's what I'm saying. No, and, and that's what I'm saying. The see, Supreme Court has reinstated them. In other states, the Supreme Court has the governor does not have jurisdiction. No, you see, and why did okay. the Supreme Court reinstate them? Somebody challenged it. Challenged it, yes. You see, when you don't challenge when it, was, when was, you don't it, try. Was, it was not within the administration that um, fired them. No, but that's the, that's the thing. If they had been challenged during the administration of president that fired them, they would have been reinstated. Mm. And that's what we say. There. See, we, we, there's so much laxity in our system. Let it be. They because we hear. do some things, just, don't uh, make them constitutional. constitutional right, yeah. Mm. So, like state governors, state governors taking, pilfering into local government funds. funds. It's not supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. Money is supposed to flow from federal government directly to local government. But state governors do it and we're like, okay. But it's not supposed to happen. Their money is not supposed to pass through any fictitious Ministry of Intergovernmental Affairs, yeah. in quotes. And you know, and you know why that will money. continue? It will continue the same reason we cannot get the 50% plus one. Because you see, you can only get 50% plus one when you have voted. When you are absent from the vote. No, no, no. No, no, hold on. I'm, I'm coming. When you are absent from the vote, I'm, you, you get where I'm going when I finish mm -hmm. this point. Your position is not absent. It is you, the voter, that is absent. Somebody will vote for you, and that's what you call rigging. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, maybe in a, a, constituency, a constituency where you have about 400,000 people, you see about 250,000 people that voted. In actual sense, the people that came out to vote were like 50,000 or 30,000. Mm -hmm. So when you want to call somebody back, once the 50,000 go and sign, where are you going to get the other people that came to vote? Mm -hmm. wait, so how can you call them? Wait, but I'm going to point out something. You know, now, this democratic coup, why is really interesting in Nigeria to even attempt? Mm -hmm. We know most of us are looking at it at the federal level. Let's come home maybe to be State House of Assembly. Thank you. Now, Nigerians, you know that we do not... State House of Assembly elections uh, uh, get as poor as 13% of total voter percentage. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use, I don't want to pinpoint anybody, but there's one I was aware of somewhere around Mushi. I didn't call anybody's name. <laughs> and she got into power. Anybody can assume any who I'm talking about. She got in power with approximately, uh, the total votes were about 37,000. Hmm. Meaning if you want to take her out of office, you need just a little of a give or take. Well, uh, 14, no, not 14, about 19... 19,000, yeah, 19,500. Yeah, well, let's say anything mm -hmm. above that. So 19,500 signatures, and you've removed the state house. Of if you remove one, everybody will, everybody will fall in line. But you know what's even more, what's even mm -hmm. closer home is that, I like what you said, the local government, the states, the federal, and uh, I mean the mm -hmm. National Assembly. But what about councillors? You know, councillors mm -hmm. also play the role of, quote-unquote, there's an assembly in the local government. They are the legislature of the exactly. local government. Exactly. They are. So they play that they role. Can take out but the we channel. ignore them. Yeah. So, so That's why, why are they very Because silent? you haven't voted for no. them. You know the problem? One, I can tell you averagely across the 36 states of Nigeria, mm -hmm. and because of my work with the Electoral College, councillors do not even know their job description. 
and it gets so bad they don't know their job description they don't know what they're supposed to be doing they don't have an idea of what they're supposed to be doing which is a massive problem then second local government chairmen do not even know what councillors are supposed to do i can tell you that as far as it goes up even some sa politics to a governor do not understand that the legislature and the and the and the the council are legislature and the yeah, chairman are uh, executive. executive they don't are you kidding me i'm no, i won't be surprised how many if many know. Know. how many so the thing That's is the is it why is this information who is who is you know like budget it does you know they take the, that big yeah, complicated and budget break and they're breaking down. down who is breaking down electoral laws and interpretation to the masses that's what we don't have well <laughs> i'll say the electoral college is trying electoral of course college does not that you see to. honestly do you know that it was I, I feel very embarrassed saying this on the on the television but it was a flyer i saw of you doing a program that i even knew that electoral college existed. actually exists we're this not is, a government body eh? we're not a government no body. i'm only saying mm. that um the, the 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 information so if there is an electoral college that is doing all of that it's not yet very popular people need to it's know not it. widespread it's not widespread people yeah. need to know it i know budget it as in i can i know where to go to to it once federal government reads budget typically you know it's not it's very vague budget it has become the go-to place yeah. mm. maybe electoral college needs to we position. just started we just started yeah. we are less than two years old. we're about two years old oh, so yes. with time we will get there. Mm. Budget, I knew when budget started. And of course, it took them seven, six years to get down oh, the right, line. Okay. So I, I think the, get the electoral college is very much welcome. And please, you people, because this information needs to be public. Yeah. I must tell you that when Nigerians have full information about something, they, they will act go, better. They, they will act. Mm. But you know what? You know what? While we're waiting for electoral college, and this is where I challenge you youth, that listen, the same way we we'll look for any information about Jay-Z, let's use the internet and just search. It's, it's like when people talk of uh, police, uh, we need state police. I believe we need state police. I believe we need community police. I believe we need to break down police. However, do you even know that the way the police is, we are not using it. We are not implementing it fully. Do you know that as much as, yes, we say the police reports to the IG and everything, if you are in the States, it is difficult, quote-unquote, unquote, for you to be controlled. And it's been proven, even in this uh, dis uh, dispensation. When, yeah, yeah, when these guys came to Rivers and approached Wiki, um, what was his name, uh, uh, Amechi, when their convoy met, the one coming from Federal had to calm down for the one in the States. You see, there are so many things online that you can search, but we don't look for it. We can talk on and on and on. No, 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 you know, no, no, no. the show has to end. Okay. So, as, as usual, on the, on the Advocates, it's always an interesting conversation. That's all we have time for today on The Advocate. Join us again next week. The Advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com forward slash the advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Join us next week, same time on this station, and let's keep advocating for a better society. Ciao. Yeah.